Hello friends, today we will discuss the treatment of syphilis. You know that syphilis is caused by a special type of a spirochete called Treponema pallidum, right? And it should be remembered that the Treponema pallidum thankfully remains very susceptible to penicillin G. So the drug of choice for syphilis is penicillin G. And in some cases, you can also give a drug called doxycycline as an alternative therapy. So let's talk about the stages of syphilis. See, syphilis is divided into three main stages. One is primary syphilis or you can call it as localized primary syphilis. See, this stage of syphilis produces hard shankers right so going to the second stage called secondary syphilis or disseminated secondary syphilis which produces widespread maculopapular rashes see there is one more stage of syphilis called latent syphilis see this is the phase or this is the stage where disease enters into dormant or asymptomatic phase. Again, latent syphilis can be further divided into early latent syphilis and late latent syphilis. So going to the third stage that is called tertiary syphilis or systemic tertiary syphilis, this stage of syphilis is going to affect your various organs like the heart and blood vessels and it also affects your brain your spinal cord and the organs like the liver joints as well as testes see the point to be noted is when this syphilis is going to affect your heart and blood vessels we call this syphilis as cardiovascular syphilis and when the syphilis is affecting your brain as well as spinal cord, we call this type of syphilis as neurosyphilis. Right. So now the question is, how do you treat these different stages of syphilis? Let's discuss that. See, for treatment purpose, in case of early syphilis, which includes like primary syphilis, secondary syphilis and early latent syphilis the drug of choice is a long acting form of penicillin g so what is that long acting form of penicillin g see the long acting form of penicillin g is called benzathine penicillin g so a single dose of 2.4 million units of benzathine penicillin g is given through the intramuscular route and this is the treatment for vast majority of the people alternatively if a patient is allergic to penicillin or can't tolerate intramuscular penicillin then a drug called doxycycline at a dose of 100 milligrams per oral is given twice a day for two weeks or there is another drug called ceftriaxone which is given at a dose of one gram intramuscularly or intravenously for 10 to 14 days right this is all about how do you treat the early syphilis like primary syphilis secondary syphilis and early latent syphilis now let's talk about how do we treat late latent syphilis, tertiary syphilis, excluding neurosyphilis or syphilis of unknown duration? Let's talk about that. See, the treatment of these stages of syphilis like late latent syphilis, tertiary syphilis, excluding uh, neurosyphilis or syphilis of unknown duration, the treatment is same to early syphilis it means we still use benzathine penicillin g 
at a same dose of 2.4 million units and at a same root that is intramuscular root so everything is same but the only difference is instead of a single dose here in this case we use three doses separated by a week right so we give the first dose of 2.4 million units of benzathine penicillin g at first week and again we repeat the same dose at a second week followed by we repeat the same dose at a third week so we give three doses uh, separated by a week and alternatively if a patient can't tolerate penicillin for some reason in this case then we give uh, a drug called doxycycline at a dose of 100 milligrams per oral twice a day for 28 days right apart from all these different stages of syphilis there is a special type of tertiary syphilis called neurosyphilis so how do you treat this neurosyphilis for neurosyphilis what we are going to be using is intravenous high dose penicillin g than regular doses of benzathine penicillin g and that's because you know benzathine penicillin g cannot cross blood brain barrier so we cannot give this drug to this type of syphilis and now what we do is we remove this benzathine group and we give a high dose of iv penicillin and this high dose may be around uh, 18 to 24 million units of this drug which is given uh, through intravenous route daily i mean uh, it is given around 3 to 4 million units of this drug intravenously for every 4 hours and we use it for 10 to 14 days so this entire course is maintained for 10 to 14 days right see as the treatment for neurosyphilis is many times a day for many days this often requires hospitalization and setup of home iv antibiotics we can also give a drug like procaine penicillin g 2.4 million units intramuscularly daily plus we can add a drug like probenecid 0.5 grams per oral four times a day for 10 to 14 days see probenecid blocks the renal excretion of penicillin and keeps the levels of penicillin high enough but to get injections once a day for 10 to 14 days is very problematic and it is so painful for patients alternatively we can also use a drug called ceftriaxone 2 grams intramuscularly or intravenously daily for 14 days the pregnant patients with neurosyphilis should be treated as for non-pregnant patients and let's assume for example they are allergic to penicillin i'm sorry they still need to take high dose iv penicillin and they can't take doxycycline so the treatment would involve desensitizing these pregnant patients to this drug called penicillin so that you can use penicillin in these pregnant patients lastly the penicillin therapy at all stages of syphilis can be complicated by the jarish Herxheimer reaction so it is very important to watch out for jarish Herxheimer reaction which is when spirochetes die and break open so when these spirochetes break open they release a lot of antigens and these antigens which are like foreign particles can overdrive your immune system and when your immune system gets overdriven this results in having sudden fevers sweating muscles and joint pains that may last for few hours to few days 
right this is all about the treatment of syphilis